Hey guys, Starlos from KeyOffUnitLoss.com and this is another game from the UK UTL. It's uh, Cyrilly. <laughs> Help me out, son. Cyrilly. 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 Uh, I believe Cyrilly hails from uh, the University of London A team. Now, is the A team better than the B team? We just don't know. Maybe it's All just right. random classification. Well, then let's face it, the B team's got go mass in it, so. Unless the A team's made of so much worth, it'll make my eyes bleed if I look at it. I just don't know. But then, bloke. But then, now, now this is a place close to your heart. So <laughs> there's a fella, a fella here, who is the uh, the yellow Protoss, and and he comes from Staffordshire University. Oh, oh, I remember my days there well. He remembers his days, the lad. Uh, yeah, and this is effectively our local university. So come on, Staffordshire. Yeah, go on. Oh, I lost control of the camera. I got that excited. I'm probably <laughs> off my tits on Monster Ripper as well. Uh, I think I'll say a few choice words. Not choice words, because that sounds like I'm going to fire abuse at the lad. At our uh, funky sponsor, Total Biscuits. So check out his channel on, uh, on YouTube. It's Total Halibut. Um, yep. And uh, I am actually choking to that. Go to cynicalbrit.com, subscribe, sign up, take part in whatever the hell's going on over there, and love every minute of it. Links are in the description, so click on them. And uh, make sure you check out unitloss.com. But really, we need you. We want you to subscribe to our channel, so get on with it and get it done. All manner of gods and wonderful things will fall from the heavens if you do. <laughs> Gifts from above. Praise be to <laughs> Allah. Anyway. So, yeah, we've got PvP. What are we going to see? I think, looking at the production tab, we're effectively seeing the same thing to some extent. Although the gateway is a lot faster off Lover Peach. Um, it is. And his gas is up and running, so... And his cybernetics coys are on the way. Yeah, he's definitely slightly so he's ahead. Faster, I mean, it yeah. depends on uh, what surely he's going for, but if he doesn't go for the cybernetics core, then, well, he's crazed. So, let's see what he does. Let's see what <laughs> he does. Crazed. What's he going to do? Yeah, but I, got this funky build. I, I got this build, and I don't build the cybernetics core. I just build the gate. Although, actually, with the patch notes for the, uh, the, the update, maybe we might see more just standard gateway play because with, with the uh, gateway units having like they build at miles faster without warping them in it takes longer to warp them in now so we might see more play in the future where people are you know swapping the gateways from warp gates back to gateways like depending on what they're going to do could be interesting instead of every every son of a bitch going for warp gates it's warping <laughs> shit in all over the place no need oh, oh hey, I just, what's going on here slash Love a peach left the lad and the lad got slashed he it's got just slashed not really <laughs> slashed open. I'm sure Slash <laughs> would approve of all this slashing that's going on. Slash, slash, slash. Shanked in the refectory. Right, what's going on? Oh, yeah. surely he's still got a probe dancing around uh, Lover Peach's base. He's yeah. living the high life. He's getting chased by a probe and a zealot. Kind of a bit mad while there's a probe chasing him, Lover Peach. Getting back into Minerali. Good lad. <laughs> oh, I don't know where's he going. Is, is he going to build something? Is he going to scout? We just don't know. Um, oh, I was going to jump back to watch the... Uh, Love a peach zealot, slice up the probe, but he already did it. Sickening. That probe's not going to get very far if he plans to go in the base because that stalker's going to gun him down. But I would imagine he's going to put a proxy pile on down for the Staffordshire Massive. <laughs> I'd, what do you reckon? What do you reckon? Proxy pile on, rush. Well, there goes the other probe. <laughs> They're both doing the same thing, ain't they? Come on. He's chasing him, though, look, bloke. <laughs> Surrelease. Oh, no. It's going to be bad oh, news no. for that probe. Oh, oh, no. Oh, please. Denied, son. Denied. Oh, not the staff of mass. Come on. Shut down. <laughs> We've got a lot of oh, chrono. Caps. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> energy. Energy. Chrono. <laughs> yeah, yeah, chrono, chrono boost. boost loads of energy on that Nexus say. there for Love of Peach. Yeah. There's still quite a bit on the Nexus for uh, Surrelease. Surrelease. But, you know... Saving it up to pump out some research or crank out faster units from the walk gates or whatever the hell he wants. He's going, well, he's got a, he's got a four gate. I was going to say typical four gate. I don't think it's entirely typical. Maybe it's a little bit late. I don't know. But um, we've got four gates up now for uh, Lover Peach. And uh, we've got the three gates probably going into the expand for uh, Surrelly. Got a robotics facility going down. So yeah, he's going to go for an observer. Yeah. Or he might chunk, he might sort of throw out an immortal, do you reckon? Uh, he could do. Um, he's still he's wanting to put down that proxy pile on Lover Peach. He's just been denied again. Um, yeah, three stalkers against three zealots and a stalker is a win for the three stalkers. I'm afraid. So they both pulled back. I mean, maybe he could have pushed a little bit more thoroughly there. I mean, I think he could have done it if he took them units out there and was more aggressive instead of retreating back. He's allowed Lover Peach now to take his expansion and escape with them units. He could have done 
maybe a bit yeah. of damage to the units there. I think the Stalker actually moves faster, don't it, than the uh, Zealot? Yeah. yeah, yeah, quite a bit faster as well. So the Stalkers are moving out um, for Surly, and he's kind of backing off again. I think he was checking for another proxy pylon again off Lover Peach. It does look like it. I mean, he's not he's not going to push out whatever he's waiting for. I don't know what he's waiting for. Oh, there's the Immortal, so presumably yeah, he's going to wait for that and then push out. Yeah. But Lover Peach had the right reaction. He knew he wasn't going to win that engagement, so he pulled back. Yeah. And he saved himself for another day. Well, they've both got equal income, effectively, apart from the gas. Sorely, he's going for more gas. Um, I'd imagine it's so he can go for the... Uh, well, he's got the Immortal coming up. Well, no, actually, he's got the Observer. Did he cancel that Immortal? Yeah, he must have cancelled it. Gone oh, for the yeah. Observer instead. He's still got a lot of energy saved up on that Nexus as well. Yeah. Lover, Lover Peach, Peach is... seems to have dumped his away. Yeah. Um, Love of Peach is slightly gone into the lead now with the drone count. He does have two more drones. I mean, looking at the, the uh, units killed, we've got not much. I mean, he's sorry, he's killed three workers mainly. Well, it was a it was a scouting probe and the uh, oh, not that <laughs> the scouting probe and the um, the two lads trying to set up proxy pilot <laughs> <laughs> doomed to the the gang the, the particle beam gang. They were only trying to do the jobs, but they got denied. Oh, just noticed Robotics Bay down for Surely. So, Surely? Sure. Surely! I pronounce the guy's name. Uh, yeah, so we're so, going to see some Colossus out on the field. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's presumably why he ditched the Immortal Man for the Observer. He was going to go for it and then decided, no, I'll wait. Well, Surely's more tech heavy now, definitely. I mean, he's been operating off one base. He's, he's more gas intensive infrastructure that he's been running off earlier. Um, pushing onto an expanded. Lover Peach, which, you know, the army value is going to be in favour of um, Surly by quite a bit. I mean, it, it is by gas by quite a lot. It's ahead of minerals, but it's not massive, and it looks like he's moving out now. Maybe he could have waited until that Colossus was finished. Uh, yeah, it seems a bit premature to move out when you've got one of your biggest hitting units still being produced, but yeah. if he knows about that expansion, he might just want to go in and get rid of it. I think, is he just checking around? He's setting up his own proxy pylon, that's why he's moving out. Where's his observer gone? Has he moved his observer into his base? I can't see... Oh, yeah. So his observer, he's sitting right at... Oh, no, actually, that's Love of Peaches, ain't it? Is it? Yeah, that's yeah. Love of Peaches' own observer. <laughs> I was like, oh, what? Okay. The Colossus is moving up. I don't actually know what he's done with that observer. Is it with his army? He I does have an observer. Don't tell me I'm mad. No, he doesn't. Mm. I am mad. He had one, so maybe... Maybe he went over to Love of Peach and he got killed. There's no detection though for Love of Peach, is so I don't really know how it could have been killed. Oh no, actually, yeah, his observer might have detected it. Anyway, we're crazy, we missed it, so we apologise. <laughs> oh, there's a start scouting stalk going in, that's going to go yeah. back to that lad. He's setting up a lot of proxy pilot on Sorrily. <laughs> he's he's going to yeah. drop another one down. Is he, is he? Nah, it's taking those down like a watchtower. <laughs> that Colossus is going to cause some problems for for Love of Peach, but he has got his own Colossus coming out. So yeah. unless Surly goes right in now and, you know, really makes a proper push, actually the the advantage will disappear. Well, he's got two Colossus now, though, Surly has. Oh, I mean, yeah. Surly, he, it's going to be quite bad now for Love of Peach. This is when he moves in. Um, I don't know whether he's going to be able to hold this. Colossus is going to chop with the Zealot. It's like they made of nothing. Because we all know they've made him nothing. <laughs> it's, it's looking quite bad. I mean, there's a force field there, but you know, there's not enough energy on the centres to really drop force fields out to do anything. And I think, yeah. really, sorely, it's just attack moved onto Love of Peach there. Yeah, that was a complete walkover. Yeah. Well, there's a GG. It's been bin. So, uh, yeah, that was a game from Group E. <laughs> e, yeah, yeah. You can quote me on that, Group E. Um, but don't quote me on Gomas being third in that I-42 because he was fourth. <laughs> so uh, check out unitloss.com and uh, that win went to Surly from University of London A-team. Dun, 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 dun.